All right, well, round one rolled through here early this morning. That cloud cover left quickly, left with some sunshine, really hot and humid air. The second wave of cloud cover already setting up for what is our last round of thunderstorms here into this week before we finally take some quiet air, get some relief from the humidity. See our temperatures fall back to the upper 70s for afternoon highs as well. So that's still continuing to set up in Iowa and Minnesota, Wisconsin. The rain from this morning was significant, especially in parts of Kent, Ionia, Barrie and Allegan County. Had some reports of over two and a half inches of rain. The Grand Rapids Airport merely two inches as well. Looking to add to it here tonight and into tomorrow morning, which is why another flood watch has been issued. We had one last week. This one from 9 p.m. through 4 a.m. from Muskegon, Kent, Ionia counties off towards the south. We are looking at another widespread inch, maybe two inches of rain in some isolated downpours. So you can see the development here of the showers and thunderstorms. Looks like between 11 and midnight is when the main wave is going to push off of Lake Michigan here. And again, I think I-96 to the south sets us up pretty cleanly for the greatest threat of storms. On the backside, lingering showers through midday Tuesday, a little bit of mix of clouds as well, and then a few more showers look to redevelop Wednesday morning. Those don't look concerning and or significant though. So it's really tonight until about 3 a.m. that we're really watching for the severe weather. So the enhanced risk from uh, Ottawa, Kent, uh, Eaton County off to the south and west, the slight risk from Oceana, Nuego into parts of Macosta and down in Montcalm County as well. So the threats break broken down. Hail could be up to an inch and a quarter. Wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour, maybe even a little bit stronger uh, down near the state line. And then for a tornado threat, it is isolated, but we could see a brief weaker spin up here, especially in our far south and west communities. Our dew points right now sit in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Where we have the lower 70s is where our greatest threat for storms is. It's right in line. A lot of moisture, a lot of instability, more to work with. But it comes with a cold front here into tomorrow, and it is significant relief. Dew points from the mid-70s back to the mid-50s here by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. So with the relief on the way, storms tomorrow probably going to keep us off the lakeshore. Two to four foot waves, especially through the middle of the day. The evening might not be so bad to wrap up Tuesday, but we're still going to be digging out from a lot of rainfall and potentially some storm damage here in the West Michigan area. And then we're only in the 70s for both Wednesday and Thursday, but the sunshine returns. It's pleasant conditions all the way through next weekend. So the rainfall tonight is still the thing that we're watching. Uh, even if we don't see any severe thunderstorms, it's heavy, heavy rain that rolls through. Again, we had some isolated areas over two inches. Don't be surprised for that to be common again tonight with a widespread inch to inch and a half through Tuesday morning.